lot of people think that Sweden is not actually socialist. Well, they're wrong. Sweden has a socialist economy, looks out for its workers, allows democratic control over the workplace. Many people do not understand that public transportation is given free health care benefits in Sweden. And that's democratic control of the workplace for a moneyless, classless society. I'm Hakeem. I just basically want an economy where glasses wearers are in power, and the people who wear glasses are the ones who control everyone. I don't support a working class movement in the central colonial state, because the only working class are hipsters and nerds like myself. I basically got swirlies in Iraq and was bullied in high school for wearing glasses. To me, communism is basically going to solve that problem, and I'll be in charge, and my bullies will be in jail. I don't actually live in Iraq. I'm actually an American who lives in Wyoming, and I pretend to be Iraqi. Even though Iraq has free college, I have to pay medical tuition. For some reason. Welcome to Sweden. Want me to impersonate Jank? Come on. Here's Jank Uyghur, right? Here's Jank. I'm just like a normal liberal American, just like any of you. I, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to tell you I'm a normal person. What the we don't know about any of that. And the patriarch of Russia who is talking about LGBT people? You're disgusting. We need to sanction that guy. And and Nancy Pelosi, I want to yell at her, but we all we have to vote for him to defeat Donald Trump. I'm not Turkish at all. I'm not even Middle Eastern. I'm a normal white liberal just like you. I'm a normal American. I'm a regular white American just like you. I'm not even Middle Eastern. There's nothing Middle Eastern about me. I care about anti-imperialism. I mean, the U.S. can go to war with the Middle East. I don't care. Even if the U.S. invaded Turkey, I wouldn't mind. You need to realize that I'm a politically correct liberal. Just like you! Ugh. Alex Jones pisses me off so much! God damn it with Roger Stone! What did you say about Trump? Ah, uh, of course! And Anna here was basically talking about it, and of course we don't want to get rid of Social Security and Medicare. But the force to vote is just ridiculous. It's, it's the whole thing. And look, guys, I'm just going to say here that, you know, the Justice Democrats, that whole thing fell through. We need to keep voting for the Democrats. We, we got to keep doing it. We got to keep doing it, guys. We got to keep doing it. I'm, 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 I'm you know, I, I basically tried to copy... The mannerisms of, you know, the local Democrat in my city council. <sighs> well, I, 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 you can't really blame me for that. If you're tired of watching the Young Turks, welcome back to Hakim, where you can learn about real revolutionary theory. Today, we're going to be talking about how... We're going to be talking about the working class. Workers are pretty much people who are employees. Every employee is a worker, including CEOs. Hello. Hello, it's me, Hakeem. 
Iran is pretty much an imperialist power. It's the same thing as America. Reigning imperialism is harming the working class. Hello, it's me, Hakeem. Russia's imperialist war is an inter-imperialist conflict. Lenin wrote about this in his book. I like to quote Lenin a lot, despite not understanding him. That's mainly because I have a Lenin profile picture, and I basically have the same view as Lenin, as the Soviet revisionist Khrushchevites did, where I basically look at Lenin as a glorified liberal, and a social democrat liberal. I'm Hakeem. This is the Hakeem stream. I'm Paul Moran. I'm gonna put a crown on his head, even though I'm a Marxist, Leninist, Maoist, and anti revisionist. Hakeem has more subscribers, so I'm gonna suck his dick. I have no principles at all, and I'm a wrecker of my local Communist Party. My name is Paul Moran. Based to Jason on Rukak. All right, you paid for it. I'll do it. Let me finish the sandwich. Jason on is going to be... Um... <clears throat> Today, I'm going to be talking about... Oz is a freaking liar. And it's funny that he mentioned that. Because he never actually considered I play Fallout. When I'm playing Fallout. Do you're a freaking liar who's putting words in my mouth? I never said I don't support first world workers. That is a freaking lie that I never said. I believe that for Indigenous Americans and Black Americans, that your freaking Christian bullshit needs to be burned to the ground. That's my best one. That's the best one. The best one I can do. All right. Freaking pathetic coward. For freaking pathetic coward. I'll, you want me to do Yankee Tanky next? I'll do Yankee Tanky. Oh, uh, so I was recently talking about Oz and the infrared community. They need to be destroyed. And I can't tell you why, but it needs to happen. That's my best one. Who else is there? Who else should I do? Hassan? Oh, uh, yeah, I was basically like dealing with it the other day. I don't freaking know why. Why are people talking about this? It's like, dude, dude, I don't even know. So, if you want to know, basically, you got a bunch of LaRoucheites, like that infrared. Ah, uh, whatever, dude. Whatever. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, like, you know, like, like, I painted my nails. <laughs> oh, dude. 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 Dude.
Ah, uh, okay. Bosch? I'll do Bosch. Hmm. And it's not particularly interesting. Because I did notice... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oz is an extremely insecure individual. I can tell because... He's doing that thing where, like, he looks at the camera. And he's, like, basically trying to, like, see how he looks. Like, I do the same thing all the time. So, But, anyway... Ukraine has a dangerously... Um... He doesn't say I'm Vladimir. I'm supporting Vladimir Putin and other auspicious dictators in the name of anti-imperialism. Oh, like that thing where like Oz was basically trying to say that he supported fascism. Uh huh. Yeah, I just want to inform you that I was indeed laughing. It was not audible laughter. Now you couldn't hear it because my microphone didn't pick up. I promise you I wasn't just pretending to laugh in order to appear less socially awkward. I am, after all, a normal person like everyone else. Anyway, AOC has basically talked about it, and I think I would support it if it was, in fact, to get around to it. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the most painful one. Does that thing where he's fucking, he has the most weak posture in the world. That's how he laughs. I mean, guys, if you're sick of the Vosh stuff, all that Vosh nonsense, if you're really sick of it. You guys are sick of it. Welcome back to the Hakim YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about how in the Soviet Union, every liberal can get on board with the Soviet Union. Because the Soviet Union actually could do production in a similar way. So, basically I'm going to take a break down and the shop has to exploit the value of the workers working at it. And they don't even know how to do it. And if you're saying the whole Hakim thing, there's not really much that you can do. And the exploitation of the amount of calculations for doing it were actually much higher. And actually, it's actually, actually, quite interesting. And actually, doing it in a case. And actually, and he's doing it the right way. But that doesn't take into account, of course, the amounts of production. If you want to actually think about it, I'm like a quirky young guy who sounds... Actually, a lot like I'm in a Spider-Man comic. I'm Spider-Man. I sound a lot like Spider-Man. I'm really innocent when I say, actually, because it's in a really non-combative tone and basically want to get around to people that I'm really Please. not a harmful person. Do Matt Christman crying about Praxis. Thank you, Chris. I will. I want people to know that I'm a harmless person. And actually, when you put the productive inputs of it, we're actually not really different. I don't get why people are against communism when it's pretty much just out of ignorance of the American educational system. Actually, communism is really harmless and toothless. If you're a liberal, you can easily get on board, and that's where my pipeline does. I convince liberals to agree with communism and Marxism because, you know, actually, there's nothing really uh, revolutionary about it at all. I'm basically just a revisionist performance social democrat. And that's why I'm making it so popular to all these liberals, and the Trump people are really toxic, actually. So, if you're a grad student, you have really no reason to be against the revival of socialism, because socialism is wholesome chungus. And on Reddit, everyone likes Hakim. Hakim has never made any enemies except with that infrared guy, and that infrared guy only hates me because he's actually mentally ill. I also have people like 